Hello everyone and welcome to a beginner tutorial on how to add realistic grass to your Unreal Engine 4 level. As you can see I already have a level here, it's something I did in the several previous videos, you can all find them on my channel, they detail the process of landscape sculpting and so forth, I even added a small lake here. But in this tutorial I will show you how to quickly add realistic grass to the level even though it's a part of the general process of using foliage procedural placements this will only focus on the grass element and how to make it as realistic as possible as quick as possible now again I have my level here it already has some foliage as you can see there are some plants here some flowers but I'm going to add some realistic grass to this small mound here. And to do that, you should go to modes and the foliage mode. Right here, as you can see, I already have foliage types. You can add yours through packs that you can download on the marketplace through this option here. It will allow you to search your foliage static meshes and add them. I already added seven of these. These are all grass types. As you can see, let me open one. It already comes with a pre-pack animation, elements and textures, everything else you need to actually have a dynamic, workable and photorealistic grass elements in this case. But if I select only that, I use it through, I can deselect and select here. Let's say I only select this particular type of grass, 0109. And from there on, I simply need to select paint. And you can see the bubble here, where the same grass will be applied. Let me zoom in a bit. So right now the landscape is completely barren, it has a texture that is some kind of a grassy field but it's not dynamic, it's flat. And I go like this and here's my grass, I added it. Of course I can also decrease or increase the density, so let me increase it here. And as you can see it's a su super tight, super connected patch, full of grass which already swings in the wind and everything else. However, I don't want to do that because it still adds something that's not actually photorealistic that much. It's more of a mesh of grass that you would kind of rarely see in nature. So I'm going to erase it. And instead, I'll do a simple trick, which is why I have all of these different types of grasses, and I'm going to select all of them. You can do that by simply clicking on the small button up here. And now these are all inside of this foliage painting tool. I'm going to go back to paint. I'm going to decrease the density. Let's say somewhere around here. You can also create different types of scaling in terms of height and width and everything else as you can see here are all of these elements you can also offset them and there are different options you can all experiment with to create the best possible result so let's see what do I get I'm going to play mostly with density here when I apply all of these different foliage types at the same place well I get a pretty solid pretty diverse pretty distinct set of a grassy patch and if I add more it only intensifies so I'm going to erase it and instead I'm going to create a sort of a set of bands that start from the inside and then expand further out. I'm going to create a smaller brush I'm going to increase the density and I'm going to place the first point here. As you can see, it's pretty dense, it's pretty compact. Now I'm going to enlarge the brush 
and I'm going to reduce the density and I'm going to place it pretty much on the same spot and I'm going to do that several more times always decreasing density and every time I'm getting a stronger center with a less dense outer band so let's do it one more time decrease it even further here we go and yeah maybe just a single additional pass like here and here we are there is my photorealistic grass right there if I zoom in you can see a natural patch that includes kind of the underlining grass texture which is the original part of the level but also a pretty dynamic hilltop with dense vegetation on the actual summit small summit and a decreasing amount of vegetation around it so let's see how that looks like in the game itself i'm going to go back to the select mode i'm going to turn on my player capsule which is here the shot and i'm in the game and let's check out this mount so this is a uniformed type of grass as you can see here it's only one type i added it previously this is a uniform type of flower it's also been in the level previously but let's check out what we did now and as you can see it's pretty organic pretty natural looking different kinds of grasses and when I go to the sides you can see the gradual fall off it's less dense more dense more dense and super packed right here in the center this way you can simulate the behavior of grass on different kinds of surfaces and also simulate the nature of grass which is kind of to expand itself and grow whatever it's possible even if the environment isn't that good it will probably just get smaller less dense less frequent but it will still be there most of the time this is a tool this is a system that allows you to do just that as you can see in the center i'm really in the thick of it there already the blades are swinging in the wind they have that idle animation and the result is really impressive for an incredible short amount of time also the result is completely photorealistic at least in this version of the level i'm making you can make it in many different kinds of ways you can make it into a cartoon style into super stylized options and so forth the process is basically the simple whatever you want to use in terms of actual foliage types so there you have it you can create your own realistic grassland and grass material add the same grass material to your level and it will look pretty great let's see it from a distance again really cool there is the animation the natural distribution of those small bushes and patches of grass and the densely packed center hopefully you found this tutorial useful thank you so much for watching my name is Ivica if you like Unreal Engine if you're a beginner in the same huge and excellent platform please continue watching my videos there are also other clips I did before this one showcasing different elements of landscaping and some blueprints i'm going to continue making them so please subscribe if you want to watch more of the same until my next video have a great time in unreal engine 4 and i'll see you later thanks for watching and bye bye